Alright, there we go. Uh, uh, Risk is rolling away on client side. Oh! Risk is. Risk is not actually rolling away, it's still there. <laughs> yeah, because I, I just saw you teleport from where Risk actually is to where Risk. Risk is rolling to. It's, it's hilarious. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna go into my intro. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another awesome episode of Railroads Online. My name is Evil One, and I am joined today by Titmuth and Dolan. Say hello, Titmuth. Hello. And Dolan. Hello. We're down here at the smelter, and as you can see, we have Risk, our new locomotive, teamed up with all these flat state cars loaded down with rails. And we got so many rails, uh, or so many cars rather, that we're not actually fully loaded, and all of the rails are gone. Uh, we are completely out of inputs here at the smelter, and I, I was considering actually decoupling these last couple of cars and the caboose and just heading up light. But we need to get these rails up to the coal mine. Uh, we got a bunch of beams up there already. We just got to get the, the rails up there and start producing coal. Mm -hmm. So, you guys ready to go? Yep. You guys, one of you guys want to drive, and or do you want me to drive? I'll drive. All right. Actually, wait. No, that'll look really bad on clients. Like, even when you go drive. I'll go drive. How about that? And I will be back in the caboose. So, oh, one thing I wanted to point out here before we get going is this is how I was putting down the stakes. These are the, the rail signs, and I line them up every other car where the back of the caboose is, or not, uh, tender, is right at the coupler. And I pull forward and do the same thing. Just plop down another, another sign. And it works very well to line up uh, with the cranes. Uh, when you come back through and uh, get more more product, so now let's check out how much fire we have. We have 26%. We'll take a scoop of that. Cool and shovel it in there. That did not work. We gotta hit that hole just right. <laughs> That's probably good. All right. Our uh, switches should be set. We're going to go around the reversing loop. We're support break off. Do a little bit of steam. The journeys up to the coal mine. I actually have not been to the coal mine yet. Right, you haven't. And, uh, you know, Tidmouth has been up there. We built that track, but I changed a bunch of stuff. Well, not a bunch of stuff. I changed a few things. And I'm very excited to show it to you guys. That's one reason we're kind of sticking together on this journey, heading up there to the coal mine. wagons all the way up this time or are we going to dump them halfway down the mountain? Well, I did run the track uh, a few times actually uh, um, in locomotives and everything and there's no more trees. So uh, I'm going to say that we're not going to derail but you know this is the AD&D &D and derailments happen a lot. <laughs> so I love how we could, uh, uh, we could put the accidental death and dismemberment all the way on the caboose. That that makes me happy. Yes. I see. It makes me happy too. I see that they've optimized a good bit of stuff with multiplayer too. Uh, it's less jumpy to an extent. Uh, with the popcorning. Mm-hmm. Nice. I wish they could just get it. It feels about the same for me, but I've got further to connect there. Oh. Well, I'm not really seeing anything like disappear. 
As in, like, cab doors and stuff like that. Oh, that's good. So I did also place signs around. I'm sure you noticed a bunch of them. Uh, not a lot down here at the smelter, but I got a lot around, like, the sawmill and logging camp has got a whole bunch. Oh. We should have ended up building a town, or should have built a town, like, down here and up at the freight depot and then up at, like, the coal mine. So, like, the main, like, big industries, they have little towns, and then certain industries have, like, a house or two. Right. Is yard limit like how fast is the yard limit uh yard limit here is supposed to be 10 10 15 maybe also i just realized that that bridge is too short well no it actually fits underneath it it does just barely just barely oh yeah i, I try to I try to keep it under 10 in the yard but um, you know, I'm willing to break that rule, especially at the AD&D. Mm -hmm. Through the rules, we have money. Yep. <laughs> Who needs rules when you have money? Oh, I haven't even done my intro. Um, hi guys, Dolan here, and I'm in a caboose. And as you can see, we've picked up speed as we're heading up the hill towards the coal mine. Um, what does that sign say? Yard limit. Oh, okay. Do we even have speed limit signs yet in the game? Um, no. I don't think we have speed limit signs. We can make them. That, I think that would make sense. You know, we've... So I got off the regulator to go around this, that little S-bend right there. Because it's pretty steep, uh, pretty sharp curve. Not that I've never derailed there before. And now I'm, I'm kind of regretting that decision to get off the, the regulator because we're at full reg, doing 11. Why did we even do the Like, I don't mind the S-curve, but why did we do that? It would have just been, was it to a ploy to like gain elevation? I'm gonna let Tim yeah. answer that. <laughs> I mean, I was trying to get up to this lump, like at this point, so I, need, <laughs> I did what I needed to do. Yep. It works, you just have to go a little slow. My brother's listening to Ocean Man. Ah, oh, yes, man, the fridge. Oh, that's right. You know what? I need to make a quick setting here. As soon as we cross over this uh, diamond crossing right here. Do you have the view distance set up, or do you need to fix that? I need to fix that, which is why I'm, I'm kind of hesitating here. I'm not going into the settings yet. Let's make sure that we cross that diamond crossing without derailment. I'll get out of the UI, go into the settings. That's options, probably why I can't play. see the tender, but I can see the look of it. How about now? I can see both, yeah. And my PC is just chugging along. Oh, there's right the bell. On. I do need to get new parts when I eventually do make my way down south. I need to go to a micro center. And at micro centers, they have, uh, they have some, like, quote-unquote, open-boxed product. It's practically brand new. 
but it's considered open box because somebody's opened it to take a look. So, they sell it cheaper than the regular product, so... I need a case and a new motherboard to build my new computer. Nice. And then I'm gonna browse at some other parts that I need for a current and for a rig. Probably gonna update the rig I have and make it as a computer for my wife, so she has uh, so she has something to play games on. Because her little laptop just can't play The Sims like she wants it to. Oh yeah, she's got like what, ten gigabytes of mods, maybe more. Like, so I tried very hard to be able to get a line up to the coal mine from the smelter. Mm -hmm. And I tried all sorts of different routes. Uh, I probably spent five or six hours building track and deleting track, trying to make it work. And the only solution I can come up with is the one that we're about to take right after this waterfall here. So this is 3%. And instead of hooking to the right, where Millsy had us coming down, we now go kind of to the left here. I see. It, it looks good. Definitely fits our little railroad pretty well. I thought so. Now we come up to a Y. And I'm going to get off the regulator and... Slowly come to a stop up here. So, did y'all take the intended route for the, um, through the, oh, the, no. the hillside, or did y'all do your own thing? We did our own thing. Yeah, we did the intended route on the Ramblin' Railroad, and, uh, decided not to do that anymore. So, this is uh, the new Y that I built, and right over here is our little town that I think we showed off. Here's coming. I was just making sure the train slowed to a stop. And as you can see right off the bat here, the track does not align with the platform and the station that I made uh, doesn't align with the track either. And that is because this is like the fifth uh, time I've built all of this because I kept moving things. And I, I finally got tired. It was pretty late. I uh, got tired of rebuilding the same platforms over and over again and the decorations and everything just to move it over a few feet or change the angle or something like that. So, yeah, this is... I, we did put it out to the community. Um... There was a couple of good suggestions for the name of this town. Uh, one of which was like Junction, Junction Town or something like that, um, or Junctionville or something because of all the the switches nearby. The other one was um, Vertiform City. Do you guys know what that's from? A little bit. No idea. Apparently you're not a Star Trek fan. So, Vertiform City is from an episode of Star Trek The Next Generation. It's the only one that features a steam locomotive, where they're on a, on a steam locomotive going to Vertiform City. So, I'm a, I'm a Trekkie. I thought that was pretty clever. But uh, I kind of like the Junction Town or Junction City or, or something like that. So Let's call it Cornstock. Cornstock? I like that. Well, there's no real. I mean, corner we here, we right? could uh, we could take at the best of both worlds and call it Vertiform uh, Junction. Vertiform Junction. That, that mm -hmm. sounds good. I like that. Yeah. Vertiform Junction, it is. Cool. See, like. Alrighty. Because you got you got weird town names, and my mom lives in a town called Cornstalk. <laughs> So it's like, it's really, I just I find it funny. When you get to the eastern seaboard, in certain states like West Virginia, for example, you get some really weird town names. And Cornstalk is one of them. 
and I don't know why, it's just, it, it just exists. There's literally a town called Crawley out here too. So, I mean, you know, you, you get... Are we all on board? Yep. Alright. Oh, you making a sign? <laughs> He's not even on the train, evil one. Yeah, I better stop, huh? anyway. Alright, let's go. <laughs> I like the Eastern Seaboard, like, you know, the Allegheny sounding whistles and all that. You know, they just, it just, it's nice. Uh -huh. Man, we really did get up speed. Yeah, I got the regular wide open. We're doing 23 right now, 24. Oh, okay. My niece is two, and I watch her and her her little sister, who is like three, four months old. I watch them on Fridays from ten to three, and you know it's for the first like year of my niece's life, I didn't get to spend much time with her because she was just my sister. Usually, never had her. She was usually with my aunt. Hang, hang on, Dolan, I gotta interrupt you just for a second. So right here is where Tidmouth and I derailed the, the second time. Oh. And as you can see now, it's actually above that because I raised up the gradient uh, from two to 3% to get up above the hill. And so all of this is actually different. You can kind of tell, 
uh, where the old track was down to the right. The trees are removed way far down the hill. And uh, coming up here, we've been to the right. This is all new track. Uh, that 4% that uh, Titmuth and I laid is now 3%. And uh, I had to redo a little bit of Tidmouth's track, uh, but not much. Oh, you can see the old track right here. I left a little bit underneath, apparently. That looks good. So, did you tried it at 3%, but you were tested at 2.5% first? No, we, uh, we had to run it at 4% because oh. I was at 2% for a long time and we couldn't make it work. So yeah, this little section we're on right now has been redone as well. Hopefully, uh, Tidmouth approves. Alright, you gotta do what you gotta do. We've still got the uh, waterfall bridge, so... Yep, here comes the train wash. I remember at first there umbrella. was, there was, uh, at least I'm in the caboose, but I I heard there was collision where the waterfall will actually even make the train derail. <laughs> this was, I think this was like in within year one of the game. Oh. So like, I mean, we, we, we were, we're now on the start of year three of the game. I think this game will be around for a while. We definitely need to train simulator like this. Like we have train simulator, and then trains, and then all these other different you know, simulations for trains. But railroads online just gives a different feel to it, you know? Like it takes it takes the the experience of how do I say it? It takes the experience of a simulation to a whole new level. And I'm looking forward to the roadmap with what we're supposed to be getting within the next, like, year or nine months or so. They mentioned wanting to have the 1.0 update around, um... the third birthday of the game. So. I haven't noticed any frame drop yet because of the, like, the beams and stuff like that. You would expect there to be some frame drop, but I haven't experienced any yet. Well, I'm at uh, 16 frames per second, so. Oh, I'm at 60. Slowed down about three miles an hour here. And we'll do a slow rolling offload. Maybe on client side the frame rate just doesn't drop. No, we just get popcorn instead. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's it. Oh, ooh, they might have gone in. I want wheel slip. That's it's what I'm slowing mean. down a little bit here. Speed back up a little bit. Oh, uh, I started loading a little bit early. It was. See, like at the slower speeds, the locomotives I've noticed will popcorn less on my end at least. Also, the coal, the coal that's supposed to be sitting in the floor is floating to on top of the tracks instead of how it's supposed to be below. Well, we've got one car 
half unloaded and we're full. So. Oh, really? In oh, order okay. to be, yeah, in order to be able to unload it. Well, I just to take more beams. now. Uh, we got two beams sitting here. Yeah. We had more beams. I gave us. Let's say 70. 70 coal. Nice. Yeah, I love the views from up here. Uh oh. Well, I just got a notice from the Pine Valley Association of. In uh, I just got a notice from the Pine Valley Association of Industri in Industries Incorporated. It says to cease all railroad operations immediately due to lack of safety concerns, overabundance of derailments at the Accidental Death and Dismemberment Railroad, and something about a conductor intentionally derailing uh, locomotives. And our services are no longer required. We've been fired. What? That that's insane. <laughs> I why why blame they're they're intent they're like nonchalantly blaming me for all of the accidents. Tidmouth's been part blamed. of several of them. I mean, you're you are the 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 owner of the railway. Yeah, but here's the thing, Tidmouth, you're the one who helped me cause that first accident. No comment. Uh. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh... So it seems that uh, the Pine Valley Association of Industries Incorporated no longer needs us here in the Pine Valley. So it's time for us to go. I'll I'll take uh, Betsy here, and we'll leave the leave the valley. Thank you. 